Hey, welcome back to Car Audio 101. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics, and today we're gonna to be talking about amplifiers. So you might be asking, what's an amplifier and why do I need one? So an amplifier essentially does what it's called. It amplifies, it takes signal from a source unit, which is typically a low voltage signal. It amplifies that signal to a much greater signal. Now I can't say specifically what the output would be that it's gonna amplify, because amplifiers come in many different sizes. It could be 75 watts, it could be 100 watts, it could be 1,000 watts, it could be 5,000 watts. But essentially all it's doing is taking the low voltage signal and amplifying that signal to power either your speakers or your subwoofers. While some speakers can run off low power just from your car stereo alone, amplifying your speakers will really bring out their full potential and make your system shine. On the other hand, your car stereo will not be able to power a subwoofer, so an amplifier will always be required. So the benefit of an amplifier is to give your system the power that it needs. If you give it the power that it needs, it's really gonna sound a lot louder, a lot cleaner, and you're gonna have way less distortion. Not to mention the filters that are built into the amplifier, which will really allow you to dial in and tune your system to sound its best. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to look at when shopping for an amplifier is how many channels the amplifier has and how much power output the amplifier has, also known as watts or RMS power. The most common configurations on amplifiers are four channel, five channel, and mono blocks. Mono blocks are a single channel amplifier. Typically, one channel would run one speaker or one subwoofer. As an example, on a five channel amplifier, a five channel amplifier would typically be connected to four speakers and one subwoofer. From there, amplifiers are pretty much broken down into classes. So here's a few examples, class A, class AB, and class D. But we're gonna touch more on those in detail a little later. So when shopping for an amplifier, it's really important to match up all the equipment, look at the amplifier, look at the speakers, look at the subwoofer you're potentially running, so everything's powered properly so you can maximize your system and get every bit out of it so it can sound its best. So we're gonna go over all of this in great detail on filter settings, amplifier classes, power, matching audio components to set up a whole entire system, on future Car Audio 101 videos in this series. So make sure you subscribe, all the social media channels, whatever you use, check us out, subscribe. Until then, I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics. We'll see you next time.